Hey guys, welcome back. Still looking for that lack of hair that Sushan wants. I don't know what it's doing, but okay. These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. That's... Nope. I don't like Fink. Imprinting failed. That can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? Oh. I was so young, I... I always remember him just being there. They went to a reality where it worked. Oh, nope. It must be a prototype or something. Is it human? Does it matter? Mm. Okay, goodbye. I tried hypnotherapy. On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. It did it. I never think to look in the vents because I'm so used to playing as Pepper and the big daddies that don't go into vents because they're normal size. This is gonna be interesting. girl in the film. It's me. My god. Oh, I, rem I remember. He, he was... He, he'd crashed into the tower. I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking... Thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but... But he just lay there. Moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. Aww. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Yeah. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair? He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all of the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. It, it's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers. Spread out. Oh, can't I just go about my way uh. without having to run into people? Who's there? Somebody hide! No, oh, you can't hide forever. Who did this? Nobody. Oh, fine. I took a dart to the knee. What? <laughs> you gonna answer for this girl?
What's going on? What's going on? Just grabbing anything that looks halfway there. Over here. Single in. Uh, since when did you become Lord and Master? Tear it all down! You're not going anywhere! You can't hide forever, Lowe. Who done this? Now, I know there's been some concern about the nature of the work we do here at Fink Manufacturing. Why, some say they're uncomfortable with the purported harm and suffering our research brings. But friends, let me pose a simple question. Is there anything you would not do to guarantee the health and safety of your loved ones? My interest is the future health of your children. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> <He just laughs> Here. Gonna hunt you down. How about you don't? What's going on? Nothing. Comstock promises there's nothing to be worried about. But I don't like the smell of things down in Finkton. Not one bit. If trouble rears its ugly head in the form of one cantankerous negress, I've laid in some supplies in the event of a forced evacuation. down in what I call my chamber of panic near the base of my statue. I've set the code to eight three so he's a panic seven bunker. one. I don't really care to go back. We're leaving. Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. But she chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? Did. Look where it got us. Right back where we started. All yeah. these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. No, I'll take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? Well, Here you are. Settling the debt. Say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Justice coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Well, at least she's realistic in that regard. Victimhood begins. Deal is deal. Bring it to Sir John. 
Vengeance is more corrosive than shame. I'm rotted from the inside out. Woo! Bad juju. <laughs> Put hair sample in two. Then business is finished. What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence, but not relevant to our arrangement. I mean, he's not wrong. Su Chong. Su Chong, we had a deal now. Open. Oh, come on. Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home? Oh, it's right. Uninvited. A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Li Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you, you want? Owe him? I granted Atlas and his thugs asylum. You serve those same men. In a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Give a parasite an ounce of charity. He'll demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me. A little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are. But I know oh, that you on. are special. There is business we can do together. How about no? And so I give you a choice. Work for me or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. I won't oh. leave without her. My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries or as a thief in the night. 60 seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. I've got to get ready. No traps. I, I can use the plasmids as traps and, and seed the room with them. i got to find somewhere to hide and, and surprise them. Take them down one by one. Booker. I'm scared. Don't underestimate you, Elizabeth. People always do. Forty seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl to you? You can't see shit, dude. Thirty seconds. Do you know the value of the shark? Without them, the sea would be littered with the detritus of the weak. The men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean, these men do for rapture. Twenty seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements. Andrew Ryan does. I cannot save your Sally, but I can save you. What's that? Time. You're not a hero. You're not even a parasite. I don't know where these guys are coming You're from. It's <laughs> just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time for rooms. I did not think he said room. I thought he said something else. My nose really itches. This is a really bad time for this. Stuck his neck out. There you are. You're in deep trouble now. What was that? Not in the mood for this hide and seek. Well, 
that sucks for you, because I am. Let's make this easy on both of us. Come on out. You got what this You're still here, aren't you? No. Don't make me hunt you down like <laughs> I beat your sharks, Ryan. The better man won. Isn't that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here. I could fit in a new mode too. Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling. It would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on a lunette ring. Connected to the junction of its load bearing supports. That's fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural junction is in Frank Fontaine's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. I'll make sure you access office. to the private elevator. Now hurry. Uh, can we be finished? I'm ready to be finished. Anyone seen her? Look around. Ugh, I missed. Louie, 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 Louie. Hey, if you don't get out of here soon, there's not going to be an ounce of booze or a piece of ash for the taking. Uh, sometimes I think you've taken this whole Robin Hood business a bit too much to heart. Fontaine's got us out there ladling soup for the purpose of building an army. Not to share the milk of human kindness. You keep up this kind of behavior. I'm gonna start thinking there's more red in you than Karl Marx. What the hell? Splicers. Busting in! Hurwitz! Tell Fontaine the permanent compromise! That's how it's gonna be? I know you've done it. Uh, no. Had any principles, you wouldn't be skulking around. myself here for a reason, didn't I? And who exactly are you speaking to, Miss Comstock? If I were less acquainted oh with the vicissitudes of genius, I suspect I would question your sanity. I That's know so point. little of you, but I imagine the more I learned, the more exceptional I would find you. You know Atlas will betray you. And what are you, my best friend? You're one of a kind in this world, or others. And now, your misguided sense of altruism 
sends you to your doom. It's like watching Isaac Newton die in a house fire in a vain attempt to save his cat. I would save it, my cat. Ow. I should stop playing with my hair tie. Oh, that's a good one. Seriously, I'd save, I would save my cat. I love my cat very much. There, there, there. All the load-bearing columns come into this room and they meet. They meet there. I just need to place the particle in that junction, activate it, and the whole structure should rise. I want to check. You know, it may be at the bottom of the ocean, but it's still a really nice There's view. There's no plan B. Might as well just get it over with. Open. No cause for alarm. She's well sedated. There's always cause for alarm. So, it's begun. The Kashmir's all on the hill. If Ryan didn't know we were back before, I'm sure now he's got the message. What do you want with this one? If anybody's got the line on the ace, it's her. Find out what she knows. But no quackery. She's no good to us with a halo and a set of wings. I get started as soon as the chloroform wears off. Don't see her as too tough or not. Oh, you'd be surprised, dude. You don't know the shit she's been through. <sighs> Where's the ace in the hole? What? What? Where's the ace in the hole? I don't... In the hole? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we had a deal. Where I... is the ace in the hole? I told you. I told Sodium falpentol. Are you familiar? <clears throat> no. Truth serum. Unpredictable stuff. Too little, nothing. I have Too nothing much. to tell the you. Subject I don't even know what an ace in the hole is. I am still playing uh, with the dosage. Uh, this world values children. Not childhood. Still true. There's a profit to be made. And men who make it. Two weeks, love. 
Feckin' doctors. Better off hiring a million monkeys. Our deal was to get you out of prison. What, did you expect me to win your war for you too? i tend to your own knitting if I were you. Now, darling, being that you were Su Chong's lab assistant and all, why not tell me where me ace in the hole went to? I don't know, Ricky. As I said, I'm no doctor. But that doesn't mean I don't find the field fascinating. I keep up on all the medical journals and the like. I hope you have someone to help you with all the big words. You know what part of the brain free will comes from? Stubbornness? The prefrontal lobe. Now, I think it's fair to say you're a bit of a stubborn one, are you not? Man named Steinman taught me this. He's a bit of a lunatic, but a fine surgeon. A bit? He calls this little trick a transorbital lobotomy. Take hold of her, lads. You're wasting your now, time. If you won't remain still, I can't be held responsible for what comes next. Here we go. You feel that? I'm moving the pick across your eyeball. Oh, still now. And resting it on your skull. There's about a bit over a quarter of an inch of bone between the pick and your prefrontal lobe. And that's where this little fella comes in. I don't... Shh, shh. It was just a wee tap. But I don't expect it'll take more than a few of those to reach the meat. And then we might find you a bit less the mule. Where's me ace in the hole? I don't know. You All know right. what else rests in the lobe? Creativity. <laughs> Individuality. <laughs> personality. <laughs> in short, what makes you, you. <clears throat> <sighs> I'm just about through now. I'm glad we kill him. Last chance, pet. Where is the ace in the hole. <laughs> or what? What, you'll put a hole in my head and take away my memories? You want to make me forget all this? You want to make me not care anymore? Go ahead. You'll be doing me a favor. Oh! <laughs> Bring in the monster! You're a regular hero, ain't you? Can't risk ripping the only part of you that's worth the damn. Well, there's more than one way to fry an egg. Now, little one, are you familiar with the term transorbital lobotomy? Please let her know. It's a simple matter. All I need to do is insert this pick into please, your eye. Please, I don't know and anything. And a few taps with me hand. I don't know anything. Better to show by example. Please. Tell him what I don't know. Where are we? You saw all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. The ace in the hole. It's here. Yes. But, but I don't... I don't remember this place. You've never been here. Then how would it... The memories you lost, they weren't just of the past. You saw behind all the doors. Even the ones into the future. <sighs> This is where I'm going. If you want. I... I don't like it here. It's a bad place. He's never gonna let me go, is he? Even if I bring him the ace. Then why am I here? How if I was so smart? If I saw so much, why just send myself to the slaughter? For Sally. No, one day he will just rip her open and tear out her atom. All of this for nothing. Why did I do it? Why? You have to decide. Decide what? To take a leap of faith. I can't tell you what you were thinking because you don't remember. But you chose to come. There. In that room. The Ace. I don't know what to do, Booker. I... B Booker? Booker! No, please. Please just don't leave me here! Booker! Shit.
having just a little bit of a mental break. Chong's clinic. That's a bit convenient now. Ryan's got every turret in the place tuned to me and me man's genetic code. We'd oh be torn God. to shreds before we got ten feet. That's right. Which is why I'm gonna do it for you. You okay with that? Get me the ace. I'll wrap the brat in a silk ribbon. Bag her and bring her to my bathosphere. <sighs> I'll show you how to get inside. <coughs> we'll be waiting for you where you come out. Shake a leg now. The Lord hates a laggard. All right, that's where I'm going to end this one. I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.